Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of my Yogbox Let's Play. Um, I've had a couple of people comment some different things that they would like me to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is make myself another wooden sword. Because apparently if I... So you left click, you attack. You right click, you block. Apparently you press F and you can change it for a dagger, a sword or a big sword. Um, what on earth is that? Um, whoa. I have no idea what that is. But that is cool. Um, Uh, it just looks like I've just upped some different things. That looks really cool. I've got to find someone to bash with it now. Um, I need a chest too. Where's a ch where's a chest? Um, because I have too much gunk. Let's just put a bunch of this stuff that I don't really need at the moment in this chest. Now I'm going to hang on to that. That's good eating. Um, there we go. I'm not sure if that's meant to happen or if that's a bug, the fact that this sword did this. I don't normally like to go with bugs. Now, something else was pointed out to me is apparently there's a mob spawner somewhere right just here near this village. And I can't for the life of me see it. So unless... Nope. Not down there. I really hope I can get out now too, because that would suck if I can't. Hmm. Do I have a pick? Back to the surface. This is going to take forever to break now. Okay, so that's not working. Hmm. Can hear zombies underneath me though. Wonder maybe if there's something under here. Can definitely hear zombies. Saying he's right in front of me now too. Um see zombies. Let's be brave and drop down and see what happens. That looks like that that is, that's a dungeon. Okay, so I am Sure you know who you are if you posted that comment telling me to have a look down here. Uh, I, I'm really sorry, but right now I can't remember your name. I know it starts with E, and you have a cool picture of a koala. As your, as your symbol, I guess you'd say, your avatar. So thank you very much for posting that. This also looks like it's a really good cave system. So... I think I'm going to look at that lava, coal. I'm hoping that I can find some redstone pretty quickly. I can't believe I just used up all of my torches and I'm about to go face a dungeon. It's not going to be a better dungeons dungeon though, it's just going to be a dungeon. Okay, so the next thing that I was asked to do is to take the halberd and when you right click with it, 
it becomes like the pointy spear end and when you right click like that it becomes the choppy end and I believe when you do it like this it's got a longer range but does no knockback effect and when you do it like this it does the knockback effect I believe I'm really just guessing because I don't actually know but that sounds pretty reasonable to me someone else said that if you right click you can throw it but no that doesn't happen so here we go hopefully I can get up into this dungeon without the things that are in the dungeon getting out dungeon is full of sand um, I don't mind that actually dungeons that are full of sand can't get me this sandstone is really annoying though um, guess we just there's our spawner might break this with torches place some extra torches around make sure it's really nice and bright in here the sunlight's certainly helping though Okay, that's a spot we want. Excellent. Oh, it's a spider spawner too. Brilliant. I can always use a spider spawner. Let's try and put these in a useful pattern. Why did you not fall down? Much better. What I haven't found though is any chests. There's got to be chests around here somewhere. But I want to work out how to get back. I know my way, my way up was somewhere around here. There we go. So I'm going to make myself a little bit of a stairway out. I'm going to go and make myself a shovel because it it annoys me to use my fist when I should have a shovel um, let's mark this out make sure I know it's here okay so that was totally unexpected I can't believe I was you know right on top of it right next to it and I didn't notice it okay back to I need sticks stick 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 stick, stick. planks beautiful time to make some picks so what I might do is might make got two picks okay Who's looking at the screen and can see the shovel that I already had that I didn't realize that I had? Yep, I can. I put my hand up first. So for all of those of you who are yelling at me, you don't need to go all the way back. You've already got one. Uh, thank you. But you apparently weren't yelling loud enough because it didn't help. I also have no torches. Don't think I have any wool yet either. Nope. Okay. The best laid plans just fall apart. There's a lot of iron over there as well, so I want to try and make sure that I get some of that iron as well. That super cool sword looks super cool, and it didn't look like it got damaged either when I was attacking with it, so I think this might be something that I make regular use of. Now, creeper, creeper. Skeleton. Don't need to mess with any of them at the moment. Oh, wow. Try to make sure this is all really well lit up so people don't spawn and sneak up on me. It's a lot of excellent. I was just going to say there's an awful lot of light coming from down here. Hmm. Creeper, hey. I see your creeper and I raise him a, a whack with my giant red sword. 
Ah, more crystals. Now, I don't know how many crystals I have to take away before it actually starts to deplete things, but I have been told that taking all the crystals out of an area depletes all the energy out of it, all the, all the aura. And I don't want to do that, so... Um, I don't have any green crystals, though, so... I take that back, I do. I want to I wanna deplete the aura. Because I want to make sure that I get at least one of each crystal. The one that I was really hoping to get early on, though, which I haven't been able to get yet, is the fiery crystal. Because the fiery crystals allow you to build a, a new Thorncraft furnace, which is really cool. Let's try and knock some of this down. Little spider there is spinning around like crazy. I don't like the fact that I'm bringing down the whole roof on myself. That's normally an excellent way to have someone who's upstairs come in and jump down on you. But I also don't want to close the roof in yet, because I like the idea of this being a nice safe place during the day. I am just ruining this shovel. Back to the old way of doing it. I've got way more torches down than I need to and I will fix that in a second. First of all I just want to work out how big this room is. Okay, that wasn't working, I was too close. Okay, I now have an inventory full of torches. So I'll put one there, one in the corner there, one in the corner there, one in the corner there. And then if we have one at each sort of side on, That should be plenty. It's definitely a nice bright looking room, so I don't think I'm going to have too many issues. So I guess now the next thing is, who's ready to see what we found in here? Okay everyone, um, had to just take a break for a second then, and I've kind of forgotten where I was up to. But that's okay, the last thing I had done was I had taken away this spawner, and... I was thanking, and I've found the name out now, it is Elite Reese 12 who mentioned that I should kind of look for this spawner, and that's fantastic, that's brilliant, thank you very much. I totally would not have noticed it. And I think the fact that it was buried would have made it even harder to find. So now I'm going to go get some of that iron that I was looking, just staring at a moment ago. That's going to annoy me. Get out of my way. You too. Much better. And you... Why would you even put a torch there? What was I thinking? Um, let's just knock a little bit out of here. Ow. Okay, so, I found a creeper. Could probably say that the creeper found me, but I'm not sure. I was just in the process of saying, no, don't blow up, you stupid creeper. Don't you know anything? Don't you listen? Now, I thought I saw somewhere up here a red crystal, but I could have just been dreaming. I think I was just dreaming. Yep, dreaming. Maybe hoping is better than dreaming. Yeah, because whatever happened there is not any kind of red crystal up here. I'm really nervous about knocking out some of this sandstone because I'm kind of worried that if I knock it out 
that I'm going to end up with all the sand falling on me. Cave-ins aren't my thing. More cobble, don't really care about cobble. Just iron I want to get for the moment. I really... You know what? I think I might have enough to get started with Thorncraft 2. It's not going to be a really good start. It's going to be a start though. If I could only find one of those fiery crystals, then I'd be set. So that's definitely the way out. Just want to make sure I haven't missed anything around here first. Yeah, there you go, some iron. Beautiful. That must have been the point where I ran out of torches. Ah, man. Zombies are going to kill my villagers. I need to get more iron so I can protect them. Time to make a new exit. I wonder how long a door lasts. Um, like I said, I'm new to this whole 1.2 thing. I'm hoping that this door will last long enough for me to get up to the surface and protect those villagers. I wonder if it makes a special sound when the door snaps. Come on, I've got to be getting close now. Okay, where are you? I can hear you. Get away, get away, get away. Get away, get away. Man, they didn't even drop any brains for me. Okay, so... It's almost a bit of a pointless exit. The entrance was just over here where I put those torches down, so yeah, I didn't even really help myself a lot. Oh, hello Mr. Creeper. You ready? Go. Whoa. That's cool, you right, hold down right mouse button and then kind of attack and it does like a lunge attack. I have no idea how that worked or what it's about, but I wonder if I can do it up in the air. No. Bow, where's my bow? Ah oh man, come back. I just want to shoot you and gather your crystals. Ah, uh, while it would be awesome for him to keep dropping things that I can research, I don't actually want to do any research yet. I'm not quite up to the stage where I'm ready for that. What I really was hoping would happen is he would just die and drop really good stuff. I really want to check that place out as well, because I have no idea what it is. Just know that it's a... Oh, hello Mr. Creeper. Okay, this is going to be a good time to test this. Right click, lunge attack. Okay, that did not achieve the desired result. How much sand have I got? I must have like four stacks, yeah, okay. Let's fill some of this back in. Don't want my villagers getting excessively stuck. That's better. He blew up on the path too. Lucky I have some gravel. Perfect. You would never even know that he blew up. So, iron. We need to put seven iron in there, because that's how much iron you need to make a cauldron. And now I need to come over here and do that and I am almost ready to make myself a fizz crucible that's it although I've heard varying sort of things on how you pronounce it it could be 
vase, like a vase crystal crucible. I guess that'd be almost like you're saying vase. And if that's the case, then cool. I really need some more iron though. I was hoping this episode I'd get some good stuff. Wow, look at that. There was a window there to start with. I think. Hmm. It's like a window that just hasn't cooked yet. Silly creepers and their explosions being realistic and blowing out glass. Okay, how are we doing? Seven, excellent. Just chuck you for a second. Okay, so we need to place our seven iron ingots in a u-shaped pattern and that gets us a cauldron and then i can dump some of this stuff whoops dump why is shift clicking not working that's better dump some of this stuff up there oh i do have fiery crystals i need another piece of iron now ah oh, man now i'm really annoyed never mind so we'll start with furnace and then on top of the furnace, we place a cauldron. Then we have to place a crystal. What kind of crystals do I have lots of? I've got more of... Well, I've got lots more of these, so... I think I'll be using a vaporous crystal for this. So... Vaporous crystal. Cauldron. Furnace. Gets me a crucible. Now, the way these crucibles work is you can pump into conduits which are like tubes that allow the, the energy to flow or they can also do whatever's sitting right next to them and so because I don't yet have enough I'm going to do it for whatever's right next to it and I'm going to start with just a big stack of cobble and smelt that down and then I think I might throw a stack of sand in as well so that's going to produce lots of good magical energy sorry about that so yeah what I was saying is each piece of sand produces I think one viz and I think each piece of cobble produces one tenth of one viz but at the moment for every piece that gets smelted you actually lose half of it 50% becomes good viz 50% becomes taint so it's it's a pretty lossy system at the moment I'm thinking I must be at a pretty good level if I'm sprouting gold I'm going to just go this way a little bit and see if I can find some iron. I know there was more iron in that last tunnel I was in. But I don't want to stray too far from my base at the moment. Actually, what I'm thinking is I'm thinking this might be a good point to call this an end of the episode. Wait, 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 wait. Iron. This is going to be a good point to call an end of the episode. I'm going to take this iron and I'm going to make the next step of the puzzle or at least that's the grand plan I have to get my recipe book out should really put some stairs in look at that, lots of mystical magical energy um, So now with this smooth stone, I need to turn some of it into stone slabs. And I need four pieces of iron and one crystal of any form. Hmm. Oops, wrong button. Come on. Two more pieces of iron and then I'm done. Come on. Come on, one more piece. Okay. So now what you do is you place your four pieces of iron. You place your one stone slab at the top. You place three pieces of smooth stone at the bottom. One vaporous crystal in the center. And you get a thormic infuser. Now that is just the coolest texture ever. Now, you can see how small the dots are here because I'm using the 32x texture pack. That is much, much higher than 32x. Not totally sure how him 
the Azenor managed to get that in there, but however they did it, that's awesome. So now I'm going to do one final thing that needs to be done, just to show you that I, you know, what you can use this infuser for. If you place a piece of wood in and a vaporous crystal, it infuses together and makes enchanted wood, and that's the basis of lots of different things you can do. And the same rule still applies as the old one: don't stand in your own crucible. So. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm actually not going to be able to do any episodes for the next week and a little bit. So I hope this kind of tied you over for a little while. I'm actually going to be away and I'm not going to be back. I guess this will go up Friday night. So it's probably not going to be until not the Monday that's in a couple of days time, the week after that Monday. So it's going to be about 10 days before I put any more episodes up. So I hope everyone enjoys this episode and stay tuned for the next episode that's going to be up, which I'm hoping will be a little bit longer and a little bit sort of special. Thanks very much for watching. Hey, stock you out.